We're back. I'm Igor Zixuita, and we're here with Mr. Fitzgerald today. Mr. Fitzgerald, how are you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. So, Mr. Fitzgerald, what is your educational background? So, I grew up in Dearborn Heights, Michigan, went to Crestwood School District, um, where I graduated high school there, and then, trans then went to Henry Ford Community College for my uh, associate's degree, I transferred to Wayne State University for my bachelor's degree in education, and then um, once I started teaching, I went back to University of Michigan Dearborn uh, for my master's in administration. Nice. So what were you involved with when you were in high school? So um, I ran cross country and track as well as played four years of high school basketball. Um, so sports, athletics were a big part of my uh, high school life. Um, I also try to get involved in a lot of activities uh, in school, um, homecoming festivities or uh, spirit uh, day activities to uh, just stay involved and enjoy uh, high school, and that was a, a big reason why I was able to have such a great high school experience was that I was involved. Cool. Seems like you really enjoyed it. How are you adjusting to your new position? Uh, well, I'm really enjoying it. I have a lot of help. Um, fortunately, our staff and our teaching staff is outstanding. Um, I also have a great uh, office staff. Um, so everyone has kind of come into this year with a great energy and enthusiasm and uh, have, has made this transition for me um, pretty smooth. Cool, cool. So what does it mean to you to be a leader at Hartland High School? It's an honor. Uh, Hartland High School is an outstanding place to be. Um, it, it's kind of personal for me because I live, I live in Hartland. My kids uh, go to Hartland schools. And so uh, it means the world to me to see this place be successful. And I need a lot of help uh, to do that. Um, and I've had a lot of help to, uh, to do that. So uh, it, it just means a great deal to me and it's an honor and privilege. And um, I, I bring that enthusiasm and that thought process with me every day to, to school. Cool. What expectations do you have for our students this year? Um, I want students to do what's right, do it right, and do it right now. Um, I want students to enjoy their high school experience. Um, most of all, I encourage them to be involved. Find something to connect you to the school in addition to just the school day, whether that's a club, an activity, a sport. Um, something that connects you to school above and beyond just academics during the school day. Um, and I want our students to represent themselves and their family and our school in, in a positive way. Um, during the school day, in the hallways, in the cafeteria, um, but also at our after school events and out in the community. Cool. So I know it's a lot of weight on your shoulders and it seems like you're doing a good job. It was good talking to you Thanks today. for having me. Great cool. job. Hey guys, welcome back to Eagles Exclusive. I'm Drew Dykowski and I'm here with Brooklyn Daniels, senior captain on the golf team. Today we're going to be asking her some questions about her golf season thus far. So our first question for you is, how has your golf season been going? Um, it's been going pretty fast. We only have about like three weeks left, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. And the That's weather's good. been awesome. Very good. Our next question is, um, do you have any superstitions? Is there anything specific you do before you play that helps your game? Um, I self-talk. I try to talk positive, and then I eat a lot of sugar cookies. <laughs> And then our next question is, what is your favorite golf course to play at? Um, I just played um, Oakland Hills. It was really hard, but it was really nice. I got invited out, so I was very appreciative for it. Nice. And our last question for Brooklyn today is, what is your favorite club to hit? Um, my favorite club is definitely my driver. I can hit it pretty far. <laughs> it's my baby. It's my baby club. Well, thank you, Brooklyn, for coming in today. And that's all for the Eagles Exclusive with Brooklyn Daniels. All right. Hello, Eagles Exclusive. Today we are here with Jacob Ross, inside linebacker for the Heartland Varsity football team. So today we're going to be asking him a couple questions. Uh, so let's get into it. How is your season going so far? Um, started the first few games off a little rough, you know. Uh, but we bounced back this past week, and we're looking to go forward. And that's how it goes sometimes. What are your personal goals for the end of the season? Um, my main personal goal is probably getting first team all KLA this season. Some good goals. Um, what is your pregame ritual? Um, I don't really have a specific pregame ritual. I just kind of sit around, listen to some music, get locked in, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Are you excited or scared for the rest of the season? I'm excited. You know, it's the senior year. Last time I ever get to play out on the football field, so yeah. got to give it my all. Mm -hmm. I'm also aware that you are a big lax guy. 
How do you prepare for that over the winter? Uh, just a lot of practice, uh, get in the weight room a lot, and lead the team to the right way. And this one, I think we are all dying to have answered. What is your favorite <laughs> song to get hyped to? Definitely Flex by Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. And then, how do you do such a good job balancing school and sports? You know, it can be hard sometimes, but I get the job done. So I heard you're committed to Heartland, I mean, uh, Northwood University. What are your plans there in the future? Um, you know, goal is definitely to win a national championship. We got a lot of the Heartland boys committed there, of course. And uh, yeah, we're, it's going to be a blast. All right. Well, you heard it here from Mr. Ross himself. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Andy Matt. We don't want to dance by standing on the wall.